Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Whiskey Chaser channel. My name is Chase. We are on the streets of New York City here in Manhattan. Just riding, riding in a balmy 42 degrees. It's uh, lovely. It's actually been really cold the last couple of days. It was down to 22, I think, at some point. Oh, shit. Well, welcome everybody to the new year. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas, New Year's, whatever it is that you celebrate, any old thing, even if you don't celebrate anything at all. Welcome to 2022, hopefully not 2020 part two, because we need some wins. We need some wins this year. We're still trying to get this Memphis Shades windshield adjusted right. I did move it around a little bit and it seems to be doing a little bit better. Somebody said to like find out where the high low pressure point is because it's like right here. It needs to like go just a little bit more over my head in order for it to not give me that wind buffeting. Well, I'll keep messing with it. We'll see how it goes. It's much better today than it was last time I rode. So as I was going into work, I actually wasn't even going to record a video or anything because it's just me going to work, but I had a thought and I wanted to see what everybody else's opinions were because as most of you know, on January 26th, Harley Davidson will be having their 2022 reveal where well, they, they're going to be talking about how they've axed a couple of models, they might add a couple models, and it's been going around with Harley-Davidson ads that it's pretty much confirmed they're going to be talking about a new bike, and it's supposed to be like a big deal. So I wanted to know what everybody thinks it is, pretty much, and I, uh, I have my opinions and thoughts which I would like to share with you if you would like to listen. Basically, what I think is going to happen is they're going to they're going to be providing a new road like street version of a Sportster. I have been hearing rumors about this ever since the Sportster S came out and I am actually kind of excited for it. It looks like kind of a mini lowrider and it's got like a mini fairing and it looks cool. Like it looks really, really good and I'm excited to see it, but I don't know if that's gonna be the one that comes out in a couple of weeks. I was watching Throttle Blip, I believe is his name. And he was talking about how he believes it's going to be a new Icon series bike, kind of like the uh, revival and I think that that would be really cool he mentioned something about how it might be a sportster because obviously they are going to be getting rid of the old sportsters and just going with the new ones but they will continue to have one more year model this year I believe which is just going to be 1200s I don't know if they're going to have 83s and they might do a Icon Revival type Sportster, which would be pretty neat. I'd be excited to see that. And he mentioned how Elvis had a Sportster, so they might do like a spin on that kind of thing, which would be really, really cool to see. Really cool to see. That kind of lines up with what I was thinking. I had the impression it was gonna be some sort of Sportster. I wasn't sure what, but that's, my kind of opinion, I think it's going to be like that revival icon series type thing because that seems to be, they've only had one and that seems to be kind of a direction that they're going is to provide the nostalgic feel towards these motorcycles to really hammer home, you know, that old 
that old feeling that they had back in back in the 80s you know back in the 80s and 90s I think that the Sportster the street Sportster is going to be out probably about the same time this Sportster the Sportster S came out last year which is like I don't know May June you know somewhere around the summer they're gonna let all the hype from this one kind of die down a little bit and then BAM! They'll hit you with another bike. The marketing team for Harley, I don't I don't really understand what they're doing. <laughs> but at least they're trying. Because you never see any sort of marketing for any Japanese bikes, pretty much. Like, there used to be commercials that you would see, uh, like for a Honda CBR. Or even like a Shadow. But I never saw any for like Yamaha. I never saw any for Indian, even though Indian wasn't really huge, even though it's been around for a long time. They've only in the last couple of years really kind of blown up in terms of production. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Hopefully they have navigation on them so that we don't have to tape our directions to our gas tank. You know, cause that's the only way that we all know how to get around. I just thought it would be an interesting discussion to have because it's only a few weeks away and the team is not really that great at throwing curveballs. Like they kind of give all the information away before it comes out, which kind of like defeats the purpose of the whole thing, but I mean, whatever. Apparently, the dealerships don't know squat. They know like a couple of paint colors, a couple of new paint colors that are gonna be available for next year. But that's really it. Which I think that's good because last year a lot of stuff came out about like the new Sportster and about what they were doing with you know, getting rid of a couple of bikes and you know, that all that kind of stuff. And then when we watched, we were like, oh yeah, I already knew that. Oh yeah, I already knew that. Yeah, I already knew that. And it kind of just defeated the purpose of having the reveal, it made it so that it wasn't really all that fun. And we all just kind of really made fun of every, <laughs> everyone at the company. I would really like to see companies like Yamaha or Indian or whoever kind of step outside of their boundaries a little bit Indian I guess kind of did with like the FTR and making the new chief and all that which man that new chief is so cool so I guess they did a little bit but we haven't seen anything really new from a lot of motorsports providers in the last man in a long time not even in the last something just in a long time I don't even have a time frame for you hopefully somebody soon will step up because even though Harley is obviously one of the top leaders in the market they have you know they're changing with this Rev Max engine gonna be their new kind of main engine I think going forward swapping over from the air-cooled Milwaukee motor which I mean they'll have that Milwaukee motor for a long time because it's a great motor but swapping over from that to the Rev Max is kind of a big deal there's a lot of technology not something that you know people haven't been doing because it's been kind of modern technology for years now but it's just stuff that they haven't been doing and it's cool to see the direction that they're going so We'll see what they do. We'll see what somebody else does. Hopefully somebody else steps up to the plate to become competition. Because when there's competition, that's when advancements get made. Not that we need advancements, but we want some advancements. I'm sorry this was kind of a short video, everybody. I just kind of had a couple of thoughts and wanted to express them while brain juices were flowing brain juices and uh I needed to get those out into the world 
That was 100% a green light. It was a green light. Let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me a thought. Get your own brain juices flowing. Join the discussion. I also have a Discord that you can join in on the conversation if you'd like. However, to get the Discord link, you have to join my Patreon. One dollar. One dollar is all it takes. Or more if you decide to provide a little bit more. But really only one dollar is all it takes. <laughs> also check out the links in the description. I got some stickers and stuff for sale. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this week. If you're new here, my name is Chase. This is the Whiskey Chase channel. And I do motorcycle related content around New York City. Please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.